finally tonight, we'd like you to meet some graduates, those who came in as teens and young adults and conquered childhood cancer here at Seattle Children's. We check in to see how they're doing now. <laughs> nice change. Oh, big rock. For Heather, life after cancer is filled with laughter. <laughs> She's a mom and wife. Good throw. Seven years in remission from a pediatric form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. She was diagnosed at 18. It was really difficult to um, face the reality that, you know, I'm 18, I just graduated high school, life is supposed to be just starting, and now I'm faced with the reality that life could be ending. And so that's a kind of a tough pill to swallow at an age where you're not emotionally really capable. <laughs> the same sense of humor she relies on as a young mom got her through her toughest time while at Seattle Children's. You can either get bitter or you can get better. And I just chose to get better and laugh about it. Thank you all so much for being here. Heather and other young adult survivors share their experiences with others. You can start feeling really lonely as a patient, a young adult patient at a children's hospital. And so I used that social media. They tell how they coped while at Seattle Children's and how they cope as survivors today. Each makes a point to help others on their cancer journey. AYA survivorship. Since surviving a brain tumor, Nina has gone white water rafting, raised money for cancer research, even jumped out of a perfectly good airplane. She embraces life and loves to work with other cancer survivors who are transitioning back to normal life. As I was going through treatment, I was like, I, I can't go through this treatment and not not give back, not use my, the rest of my life to like try to make things better and help other people. Kathy has combined her cancer experience with her budding design career to create graphic t-shirts that help other young cancer survivors express themselves. I've always been into fashion and so for me to express the way I feel and um, who I am and my cancer through that uh, is, feels great it's for me to be able to combine the two things together, my passion and how I want to help everyone. You're pretty good at walking in the sand. Conquering childhood cancer just as they were making the transition into early adulthood has definitely shaped who these young women have become. As tough as it was, Heather wouldn't trade it. Things that would have totally ruined my day before my cancer diagnosis, now when something like that happens, I think if this is the worst thing that happens to me today, it's been a good day. And to have that outlook on life at such an early age, I just think is so invaluable. You no, know, you really love the water, huh? Yeah. You want me to get a kiss? Life is gorgeous and beautiful and amazing, and being a survivor is wonderful. Mm -hmm. and blow kisses. <laughs> The majority of children, teens, and young adults do conquer childhood cancer, and the people here at Seattle Children's work hard to make that so. We would like to thank all of the patients, families, doctors, nurses, and staff who helped us take an inside look at the cancer care unit. Thank you for sharing this journey with us, and thank you for watching. To learn more about cancer care and research, or to donate, go to seattlechildrens.org. Good night. Good job, bud. What's it